Hey guys, comment of the day goes to this man right here. If you guys would like to win comment of the day, make sure you comment down below. Remember, I am replying to every single person in the comments. Enjoy. Hey guys, I'm Lucky my back here for another video. Guys, today what I'm going to do is kind of cover every loading screen we have had so far and what we know about all of them with all the hints. So obviously in my previous video, I talked about Clinton Portis being possibly confirmed in Madden with the fact that he is, it says CP, and then we think it says two after CP, which would make sense, Clinton Portis, and then, uh, you know, number two. Now, what in this episode, we're also going to be uh, turning up the brightness um, of some of these loading screens. So let's start off with the last one we saw and that's going to be the Clinton Portis one. Now I did go ahead and you know turn up the brightness and the contrast in Photoshop of this loading screen. This is not how it looks like originally. It's very very dark but a lot of people pointed out first off that we had an A and an E right here. So a lot of people pointed that out. Um, the, the A is not as easily seen as the E is. But if you guys just kind of, you know, think right here, that's what the A would look like. So a lot of people are saying that the, you know, that the A is right there and that might be to do with something. Another thing is, if you guys did not see my video, this is a C, this is a P. Now this right here, I thought this was a 2. If you guys can see right here, it kind of looks like that, right? It kind of looks like a 2. But now, to me for some reason, it kind of looks like a 1 too. You know, it kind of looks like a 1, and at the same time, it kind of looks like a 2. So I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, other than that, if we go ahead and flip the TV upside down, a lot of people, first off, you look and you look right here, it looks like a player's body, and you see uh, you see 5 right here. Let me go ahead and select the right image. You go ahead and see 5 right here, right? And maybe that's, I, I don't, and then it kind of looks like there's a 2 right here kind of shady in the same way so you see five right there you see a helmet right here you see the two little eyes right here and then you see the nose right here so that's right there obviously that looks like a helmet in the face so this right here looks like a whole entire player pretty much so we see a player right there no idea what that player means uh if you go look and look at the uh dials pj sasko actually pointed out that they say four one um, so I don't know what 4-1 would be, uh, 41, you know, what player would be number 41. Uh, other than that, though, what, another thing I pointed out personally was this glove looks like the glove of Clinton Portis. He also looks like it would be a running back or a safety kind of stance, just the way he's standing there. Kind of looks like a safety or running back. Other than that, though, I didn't see any too much more crazy stuff. Again, Obviously, the E right there is pretty obvious and pretty just out there. But once you turn up the brightness and the contrast of this, you start to see a lot more information being revealed. And that's something we're going to do with all these images right now is we're going to turn up the brightness and the contrast of all these images. So let's go ahead and turn up the brightness and contrast of this image right here. So first off, let's turn this up and see what we got here. So after turning it up, doesn't look at as anything too crazy. Nothing too insane. Now this one was you just flipped it upside down and you saw the original image with the coaches, I'm sorry, with the dev team, and you just see them right there. Now if we go ahead and can we see anything right here? Or is this gonna be too, way too blurry? I think it's gonna be too blurry for us to be able to do anything uh, with. We can turn it up a little bit more and see what we, get, we can get here. Uh, that's gonna look so bad. Okay, okay, let's see if we, get, we got anything here, guys. Um. Looks like we got, okay, so it's again, it's just an old time TV. I uh, can't really see where the dials are pointing and what direction they're pointing in. But if we go ahead and do that real fast, let's see what we got here. It looks like it's just the original image right here. Flips upside down, is that correct, right? Yeah, it's, well, it's not the original image flipped upside down. It's like a more blurry image. Now, with that in mind, if we go ahead and turn up the contrast once again, and we do go ahead and see some players here. Now, again, this does not support the claim of it being Clinton Portis. Wait, why can't I? Oh, there we go. There we go. So, uh, right here we have a player right here. We have 52 right here. Now, a lot of people assume this is going to be Ray Lewis, the master. Uh, set master is going to be most people Ray Lewis. Right here, I don't know if you guys can tell, that is a guarantee right there, 52. 
So that's a 52 right there. This is a 91 right here. Not sure who that is, but that's a 91. And of course, this looks like a Rams helmet. Right here looks like a Rams helmet. I'm just going to rip fast. Hang on. There you go. Rams right there. So that's a Rams helmet. Um, other than that, though, trying to look more detailed into this picture. I can't really see too much more stuff. Again, uh, just 52.91 and Rams. Now, Rams right here would be huge. Because if this right here is Deacon Jones, he did play for the Rams. And I do believe he was number 91. Let me circle better. He was 90, not, um, number 91. So, if you know, if we go ahead and say... He could be the Rams, could be Deacon Jones as a set master. It could also be Ray Lewis. It could also be, again, uh, looking at this image, it could be, oh crap, go to my one. could be Quentin Portis. You know, it could be CP right here. CP, and again, I don't know if this is a one or it's a two. It looks like a one, but at the same time, if you also look at it and you squint a little bit, you can see how it looks like this, right? You can see the line. If you look right here, you can see the line kind of curve down and cut back. And if that is the case, it is a two. So that is always up in the air. Again, you never know, though, uh, with what EA is doing here. But it could be a one. It could be a two. It could be something else. Um, and then this image also, you know, again, if we flip it upside down, we go ahead and we see what looks like a, uh, again, a upside down five right here. And we do see a player helmet. Now, the thing is, these players' helmets look like the old players. So, obviously, it's not going to be a player who's playing nowadays or played recently. I saw a lot of people assuming it's going to be Calvin Johnson. I saw a lot of people commenting saying it's going to be JPP. I don't think it's going to be a nowadays type of player. I think this will be a guaranteed legend as the master card. I'm not sure which legend it will be, but I think it will be a legend because I do not think it's going to be... Um, a player that is playing right now now this first image again i know i haven't covered it much but this is just the ea developer team we have one two three four five uh faces which is just ea developer team i think this one was considered a joke um and the thing is uh, with ea is i saw someone say well didn't it didn't ea come out and say that the learning screen was a joke i think they said this was a troll the first one was a troll but i do not think that after that you know, I think these rest of these ones are not trolls. I think the first one was a troll just showing off, you know, just trying to hint at us and make us think about something. And then they're just pretty much putting their own developers in here. But I think the rest of these are not trolls. These are actually hints you can go off of. Because we see 52, we see 91, we see the Rams, you know, out of that one. Uh, going ahead, this one, we see AE, we see uh, CP2, uh, it looks like, so Clinton Portis. Um, and then flipping upside down, we see a 5, we see a Rams helmet, looks like. So, you know, just keep in mind, guys, I know a lot of people are kind of speculating back and forth. Yes, we might have more than one Master Legend, okay? We could have four Master Legends. Also, remember, it's this Saturday during Most Feared Weekend, because this Most Feared Weekend will be this weekend and next weekend. During this weekend, obviously, and then next weekend for Halloween. Uh, it is possible for us to get, you know, um, well, we're going to get Legends Saturday. Those are probably going to be part of the Most Feared Legends, in all honesty. So, we this actually might be hinting on Legends we get this weekend. So, we might get Clinton Portis this weekend with Ray Lewis Legend. You know, that might be our Legend for Saturday. Clinton Portis and Ray Lewis. And then, the set master could be Deacon Jones. So, in all honesty, or it could be completely opposite. It could be Clinton Portis and, you know, it could be Deacon Jones. It wouldn't actually make sense if we... Yeah, let's go with the first theory. But nonetheless, it could actually just be the set masters, the master uh, legends, are going to be Deacon Jones, Ray Lewis, you know, Clinton Portis, and some other player. Like, that could be a thing. It's not guaranteed it's one player. Yes, in the past it was one player, but you never know with EA. They could change it up, and they could make it a whole different player. So just keep that in mind whenever you're going through and kind of theorizing this. It could be multiple players. At the same time, they could just be giving us previews of what this uh, week's uh, legends are for Saturday. So we will find out Friday, um, obviously, it w what legend this is. We'll also find out Friday um, 
you know, what the Twitch Prime legend is. If the Twitch Prime legend is Deacon, Lewis, or Clinton Portis, then we automatically know that this was just all a troll to hint at the legends that are coming out during the weekend. And also, we'll know that it is one of the three will be, you know, the um, set completion guy uh, with the master card. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you see anything else that I personally miss, make sure you comment down below. If we get a new loan screen today, I will make a video covering it. But guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Peace out.